When she heard Catalan separatist leader Carles Puigdemont utter the word independence Merce shed tears of emotion whereas Sergio scowled with disdain. Puigdemont's Barcelona speech whipped up plenty of fervor among both supporters and rivals, but elation was mixed with confusion. There was joy among thousands of Puigdemont backers, who stood draped in Catalan flags at the foot of Barcelona's triumphal arch, as they followed his address on a giant screen. When he said Catalans had earned independence with their October 1 referendum, which Madrid has dismissed as illegal, Merce Hernandez, 36, let the tears flow. What emotion a historic day. I am satisfied, she told AFP, pensioner Albert Lorraine's, said he found Pugdemont's speech perfect, what I was expecting. And yet, Pugdemont, having accepted the mandate of the people for Catalonia to become an independent republic after the disputed referendum then asked the Catalan parliament to suspend the effects of the independence declaration to initiate dialogue in the coming weeks. Sergio Palacios, a waiter in the Nobaris district of the city whose residents mostly preferred to stick with Spain, was less than enthralled by the speech. When I heard Pugdemont talk about the Republic I held my head in my hands, he told AFP, until now there was no problem but now the gulf is wider between secessionists and the pro-Madrid camp. Laborer Jose Luis Gutierrez said tartly, it is an illegal referendum, they could apply Article 155 imposing direct rule for Madrid, so the citizens are afraid of what can happen. Student Mark Cases said I did not expect independence to be declared today because of all the processes that the government of Spain has begun, both with police actions and with threats and the possible application of Article 155. Maria Rosa Bertrand, an unemployed Barcelona resident, admitted the confusion weighing on her mind. I find it even worse because this is prolonging the agony, indecision and uncertainty is the worst thing that can happen to us. The companies have left, the banks are gone, we are all going to see what will happen, she said, referring to recent announcements by several major companies they are moving their official headquarters out of the area. Ambiguity deep down, we are happy but we were expecting more, said Pervel Denou, 66, who listened to Pugdemont's address with his wife Antonia, 64, nothing will happen as Madrid will not permit it, he complained. Sheila Aldemolins, 28, summed up the feelings of many by noting that that was a very ambiguous speech. Although an overwhelming majority of those who voted on October 1st backed independence many pro-unity Catalans did not participate, Pugdemont has been under intense pressure from Madrid, which has insisted the referendum process was unconstitutional and illegal. Feelings have run high on both sides, plunging Spain into its deepest crisis since the 1977 return of democracy following the death of dictator Francisco Franco. Polls show that Catalans themselves are deeply divided on the issue of independence. Some show a majority reject the idea.